Hello, am I audible? So, in our previous class, we have discussed about basic of the side distance, and after that, we have uh, gone to the derivation of stopping side distance. So, as per our discussion in the previous class, we know there are different types of side distance. So, we have completed stopping side distance. Now, in this class, we will be discussing about overtaking side distance. Now, stopping side distance, as the name suggests, was the minimum side distance required to stop the vehicle whenever any uh, other vehicles or any obstruction is in front of you. Okay, and here the overtaking side distance is the side distance is required to safely overtake the slow moving vehicles. Okay. This is the overtaking side distance. That is the minimum distance, side distance is required to overtake a vehicle. Means safety against traffic of opposite direction. Suppose you are overtaking a vehicle in that case, as well as you are overtaking in that case, some disturbance may also happen in terms of traffic moving from the opposite direction. So whenever this overtaking operation is considered, then we need to consider all these factors. That is the speed of the uh, slow moving vehicles which you are intended to overtake and the speed of the vehicles coming from the opposite direction. Now the factors on which this overtaking side distance will depend on is speed of overtaking, overtaken vehicle and vehicle coming from the opposite direction, speed and reaction time of the driver. Now here one thing we need to consider that here the reaction time, reaction time in overtaking side distance is considered as 2 seconds. But in the stopping side distance, it was considered as 2.5 seconds. 2.5 seconds. But here, in this overtaking side distance consideration, we will consider reaction time as 2 seconds. Just remember this. The distance between overtaking and overtaken vehicles, so this distance is called air space. Then, the rate of acceleration of overtaking vehicle and very very greatly that also affects the overtaking operation. Now uh, let us discuss about the overtaking operation. Suppose this is a uh, two-way road. Okay, this is a two-way road. Now suppose this is vehicle B and B1 is the position of the vehicle B and this vehicle B1 is a slow moving vehicle. Okay, this one is low moving vehicle. Now suppose another vehicle A1 is approaching towards B with a higher speed than the B1. So here it is considered as that vehicle A will travel with a design speed. Okay, suppose that design speed is B meter per second. And here it is assumed that B1, that is the slow moving vehicle, is uh, moving with a lower speed. Okay, suppose that speed is B, suffix B meter per second. Now, whenever this overtaking operation is taking place, in that case, what happens? First, this vehicle A1 will follow the vehicle B, adopting a lower speed. Okay, lower speed means this speed equal to the speed of the vehicle B. Okay, and it will follow the vehicle B maintaining a small distance. Okay, maintaining a clear spacing that is called spacing. Okay, and it will wait for the uh, opportunity to overtake the vehicle. After any opportunity comes up, in that case, the vehicle A2 will 
change its name. Okay, then overtake the vacant key and again come back to its original name. Again, maintaining a small space spaces. Okay, and in this overtaking operation, another method is in C1 and C2, these are the position of opposing moving people. Another beacon is also assumed to adopt a design speed and this is the opposite moving vehicle. So basically this is the total overtaking operation and your total overtaking distance is that V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now the V1 we taken A we move to the uh, move within the reaction time. Okay, that is here reaction time is two second. But here one thing we need to consider here whenever you are considering the T1, in that T1 we take it A we not move with its highest speed or different speed. If we follow vacancy with adopting the speed of the vehicle B. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, voice is not clear. Is it clear? Now it is clear. Okay, so uh, let me discuss this again, this overtaking operation, because this is very much important. Suppose this is a two-way, two-lane road. Okay, this is one lane, this is another lane, two-lane road. Now, a vehicle B, suppose this is a vehicle B. Vehicle B is moving with a lower speed than the design speed. Okay. Now suppose another vehicle A, this is a vehicle which is moving with a design speed and the speed is higher than the vehicle B. Okay, so it starts following the vehicle B and as the speed of the vehicle B is very much lower, vehicle A is, try, is trying to overtake the vehicle B. Okay. Now we need to find out what is the total distance required for this overtaking operation. Okay, now here some steps that vehicle A will follow. So what are the these steps? So initially vehicle A will reduce its speed and adopt the speed of vehicle B and start following vehicle B. Okay, within the reaction time and it will start uh, uh, finding any opportunity to overtake the vehicle B. So within the reaction time, vehicle A will come from A1 position to A2 position, adopting the speed of the vehicle B. Okay, and here between the position of the vehicle, between the position of vehicle A and B, they will maintain a clear spacing between them. Okay, this is called safe spacing. Now, after vehicle A find any opportunity, he will just overtake, change his name, overtake the vehicle B, and again change his name to the original name. Okay, so basically this is the overtaking operation. Now here again the vehicle A will uh, maintain a clear spacing of S between vehicle B and vehicle A. Now in this overtaking operation another vehicle that is vehicle C is moving from the opposite direction. 
okay and this operative operation is taken is uh, travel a distance from c1 to c2 with the design speed so here the total overtaking distance total overtaking distance is d1 plus d2 plus d3 so here d1 distance is the distance uh, when the vehicle a is following the vehicle b adopting the speed of the vehicle b then your d2 d2 can be divided into two part that is that spacing plus d d is the distance between d1 and d2 we will get to know about all these things and d3 is also the distance which is traveled by opposing moving vehicles from the position c1 to c2 Okay, so these all things are written over there. You just read it. So therefore, your overtaking cycle. She is not clear, sir. Uh, which one is not clear, clear sir? Hello. Yes. Voice is not clear, sir. Voice is not clear. What can I do? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, because it's sir, it's uh, somehow lagging, sir. Lagging. Yes. What can I do? Because I think that this is because of the network issues. Hello, is it clear right now? Is it clear somewhat? So do I need to discuss this again? Should I discuss this again? So here your overtaking total overtaking side distance is d1 plus d2 plus d3. Okay, so this is the overtaking side distance. Now from a1 to a2, that is from a1 to a2, that is total distance covered by the vehicle A would be your VB. Suppose VB is the speed of the vehicle B into T second. T is your a reaction time okay so this is vb into t now one thing uh, uh, can you tell me why we have considered the speed of vehicle b for considering this distance that is a1 to a2 why we have considered the speed of vehicle b instead of the speed of vehicle a is here in this position whenever the vehicle a is moving from position a1 to a2 he just reduce its speed okay the driver just reduce his speed and adopt the speed of the vehicle b b so for this reason whenever we are calculating the distance d1 we are considering the speed of the vehicle b because it is considered that during this reaction time, the vehicle A will start following vehicle B, adopting the speed of the vehicle B. So for this reason, we are considering the speed of the slow moving vehicles in calculating the D1 distance. Now, as per IRC, here this T is 2 seconds, that is reaction time is 2 seconds. 
just remember one thing whenever we have considered uh, for the stopping side distance in the stopping side distance we have considered our reaction time as 2.5 second okay but in the overtaking side distance consideration we will consider our reaction time as 2 second now from a2 to a3 from a2 to a3 we need to break up this uh, total fraction and find out what is the total distance d2 so one thing we can write that d2 equal to b plus 2s okay now we need to find what is b and what is 2s now consider this this total overtaking operation the total overtaking operation that from position a2 to a3 the total overtaking uh, overtaking operation is taking place within a time of total capital t second just consider because we do not have any time for this overtaking operation so just consider that at capital t second is required for this overtaking operation okay now what we need to uh, think so from a2 to a3 vehicle a start accelerating shift to adjoining lane overtake vehicle b and shift back to its original lane during overtaking time t second which we have considered and travel distance of d2 meter now the vehicle a maintains the spacing as before and after overtaking okay the spacing in mm here uh, this is a mistake here it would not be d1 it would be s spacing okay just remember here it is a mistake here it would be spacing s so here spacing s equal to 0 0.7 that spacing okay this spacing is 0 0.7 vb plus 6 meter now how this formula arrives so basically this is a empirical formula and suggested by irc so there no uh, derivation associated with it okay so this is an empirical formula 0 0.7 vb plus 6 so this is the spacing in meter so it is already discussed that your d2 is b plus 2s because this one b plus s plus s so b plus 2s your a2 distance now if the overtaking time is t second you can say that b is vb into t how you can write that see this is the distance b and within that distance the vehicle b has moved from position b1 to b2 okay so in this position vehicle b has moved from b1 to b2 but vehicle a has moved from a2 to a3 but the time is same that is the capital t second that is the total over overtaking operation so this b can be written as vb that is the speed of the uh, slow moving vehicles into capital t that is the total overtaking operation time so this has been written over there so p equal to vb into t now also during this time vehicle a accelerated from initial velocity vb and overtaking is completed while reaching a final velocity v now see here uh, initially the speed of the vehicle a was vb after that it start accelerating adopting a uh, adopting the design speed and overtake the vehicle b so here initial speed was vb but final speed is that is the design speed v meter per second now you know the equations of motions so you just consider this so here d2 is vb into t plus half a t square this is basically the equation of motion so you know d2 is vbt plus 2s as uh, discussed in the earlier steps that is b plus 2s and your b is vb into t so 2s plus vb into t is equal to vbt plus half a t square 
so from this equation you find the value of the t because t is unknown over here so you put the value of p in your d2 equation that is d, uh, d2 equation 2s plus v with the, uh, v into t and you got the final equation that is d2 is equal to 2s plus vp into root over 4s by a and whenever we are considering the opposite moving vehicles that was coming from c1 to c2 that total distance d3 is v into t so your total overtaking side distance is the uh, cumulative or uh, addition of d1 plus d2 plus d3 so here d1 was vvt d2 was 2s plus vp root over 4s by a and d3 is uh, v into t so this is the total overtaking side distance okay so here your e is root over 4s by a so this is overtaking side distance is it clear okay after the class you just go through the note and uh, see you if you are facing any uh, problem or not then coming to the next thing that is the overtaking zone okay uh, often you you might have noticed in the hilly areas or in some uh, urban areas also some portion of the road is of a higher width than the other portion and for some limited uh, distance okay suppose this is a particular road for some portion that particular section of the road that width is more than the other portion or other section so basically this type of portion is allocated for the overtaking operation okay sometimes due to the uh, topography of the area or for other factors the overtaking side distance cannot be provided in each and every point of the road okay so for this reason uh, to avoid any safety hazard some overtaking zone is provided over the road so that uh, that the fast moving vehicles can easily overtake the slow moving vehicles within that overtaking zone so for the overtaking zone so minimum uh, length of the overtaking zone is generally three times of the overtaking side distance okay and desirable is five times of the ohd or overtaking side distance so first for this uh, overtaking zone design first you need to calculate what is the overtaking side distance after that you need to allocate this for a minimum it should be three times of the overtaking side distance you have calculated or for the desirable it is five times of the overtaking side distance you have calculated now the thing is whenever you have designed a overtaking zone in the highway in that case you need to inform the user or driver that a overtaking zone is there ahead of you so how you have to inform them or how you are going to inform them by using different signpost okay so suppose uh, this is a tool and way okay and this is a divider now suppose a vehicle is uh, coming from this direction okay so here one uh, signpost would be there okay one signpost would be there and in this signpost it is it would be marked that your overtaking zone is approaching that the driver is approaching the overtaking zone now the position of this uh, signpost would be 
at a distance of overtaking side distance from the starting of the overtaking chain. Okay, so after this, the a driver will reach to the overtaking zone. Any overtaking operation can take in place over there. And now, before the ending of the overtaking zone, also there will be another signpost. And this signpost is allocated to inform the driver that your overtaking zone is is about to finish. Okay. Now, this position of the signpost would be at a distance of overtaking side distance from the ending point of the overtaking zone okay so this is the overtaking zone similarly for uh, vehicles moving from from this direction this overtaking signpost would be there Okay, so next is side distance at intersection. So at intersection where two or more road meets, visibility should be provided for the drivers approaching the intersection from either side. Now they should able to perceive a hazard and stop their vehicle if some condition arises. Suppose this is a vehicle, okay, and this is another vehicle, now they are approaching the intersection okay so the vehicle coming from this direction or the vehicle which is sit situated over there and coming from this direction uh, it is always advisable that a sight line okay is over there sight line means so that they can see each other through this intersection okay so if there if suppose there is some obstructions or any type of buildings or any vegetation is there so that their sight line is obstructed in that case the these two vehicles okay the drivers of these two vehicles will not have any idea about the other vehicles approaching the intersection and it can lead to severe accidents and other injuries so for this reason it is always advisable to provide side distance uh, adequate side distance in the intersection now to design the side distance at the intersection uh, it uh, used under three possible conditions so first condition is enabling approaching vehicle to change the speed so whenever you are uh, you are providing adequate side distance in that case it will uh, enable the approaching vehicle to change the speed okay why change the speed is required because suppose another vehicle is approaching in that case changing of the speed is required enabling approaching vehicle to stop if some condition arises that the vehicles need to stop in that case they can stop then enabling stop vehicles to cross a main road suppose a vehicle is crossed he can uh, look in either direction and he can cross the main road okay so these are all these things now one numerical is there you just try to solve this numerical the speed of overtaking and overtaken vehicles are 70 and 40 km per hour so first thing is you just convert this speed into meter per second okay so 70 and 40 so this is the vb this is vb 40 km per hour and this is basically v that is 70 km per hour if the acceleration of the overtaking vehicle is 0 0.99 meter per second square so basically this portion is required for calculation of the d2 calculate the safe overtaking side distance this is very simple uh, thing you just follow the uh, derivation and you will find out all these things mention the minimum length of the overtaking zone so your minimum length of the overtaking zone is three times into overtaking side distance and draw a net sketch of the overtaking zone 
and mark the position of the signpost. So here minimum here it is mentioned that minimum length of the overtaking zone need to be considered. So it would be three to OSD. After that, you need to mark all the signposts as per the uh, theory we have discussed over there. So you just try to solve this numerical. Now tell me whether uh, it is clear or not. Is it clear all this portion or do I need to discuss anything from this class? Oh, here, yeah, remember this is S not D1. Okay, this would be S not D1. Okay, about the roll numbers, uh, roll number 52 is present. Sorry. Uh, you are present? 52? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, today is 8. Uh, 53. 53. 51 present, sir. Okay, I, I know about uh, 51. 53, whether he is present? 53. Fifty three is not present. Okay. Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty four present, sir. Okay, actually I am marking the absent only. Fifty five. Fifty five is not there, I think. Fifty five is there or not? Fifty six. I suppose fifty six is also not present. Fifty eight. That's yes, present, sir. Uh, fifty six is present, sir. Okay, okay, okay. 56 is present. 58 and 59. 58, 59. Okay. 62 and 65. 62, 65, 78, 79, 80, 96. 104, 106, 111, 111, 91 present, 91 present, 91 present, 91 present, 91 present, 91 one one zero is present. Okay, one one zero is present. Okay, one one zero is present. One 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 triple one. One 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 triple one. One one five. Sixty two present, sir. Okay, sixty two is present. Okay, sixty two is present. Okay. Uh, sir, this is seventy five, sir. Seventy five. Oh yes, seventy five is present. Yeah, sir. Oh. And what about uh, roll number one twenty one? T six is present, sir. Ah, uh, sixty. Eighty six. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, see the absent. Sir, eighty six is present, sir. Uh, eighty six is present. I am just marking the absent. Uh, see absent are fifty three, fifty five, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty five, seventy eight. 79, 80, 96, 104, 106, 
रोल नंबर 